the fallen state is amazing. Subscribe now. Welcome to the Fall Estate. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Today I have with me a member of the new Black Panther Party, Christopher Forte. Right, right. He is a Georgia representative of the new Black Panther Party. Christopher says he worked very closely with the chairman of the new Black Panther Party, Hakeem. Hashim. Hashim. Nzinga. Nzinga. In Zinga. Nzinga. Right. Is that his real name? Or what's his? American name, his slave name. His slave name? I don't know. Uh, I don't know him when he was a slave. <laughs> Do you mind taking your shades off? Uh, no. I can't I see you. You can't see me? Right. No, that's know, better. It's pretty bright in here. You're yeah. probably used to the light, though, huh? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm used to it. Yeah. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you yes, for sir, coming. Yes, sir. Likewise. Yeah, I might as well just, since you want me to get all the way comfortable. Jesse? So, <laughs> yeah. So you were late. Huh, I was late? Yeah. No, actually, I was, the, the cutoff time I was told was 2.45. Oh. Right. And then there's miscommunication and getting it sooner or whatever. I just figured you were black. That's why you're late. Mm. Have that you noticed right? black people are always late? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Uh, why is that? Because everybody waits for us, right? Everybody yeah. waits for the new song, the new dance. So they got to wait. So black people are late because everybody waits for them yeah, naturally? Yeah, naturally. That's very interesting. It is, isn't it? If people start waiting, then they wouldn't be late, right? Exactly. Wow. Yeah. What is the uh, purpose of the new Black Panther Party? Uh, Hashim and Zynga, well, we talked, and I, he wants me to be very careful about what I say. So some things I'm going to say, this is what they stand for, and then right. I'm going to say some things that these are my personal opinions. Okay. Uh, I believe that the new Black Panther Party, unknowingly, is like a right-wing conservative group. Right? The new Black Panther yeah. Party? Yeah. Isn't that interesting, right? They believe in the Second Amendment. They believe in a well-regulated militia for freedom of a state. They believe in small government. And, and, and they're not really into the welfare. They actually created their own welfare when they first started. So in reality, I think if they didn't have the negative feelings about race or the race narrative, let me just get to the point what I'm saying. All right, I believe that this country was created by blacks, whites, different people. America? Yeah, and one of those people were racist white people, right? And I believe that black people have to have the ability not to feel insecure around them. I grew up prior to the civil rights movement, and I didn't feel afraid of white people and things like that. Why didn't, and I grew up on a plantation in Alabama, right down from Columbus. I mean, from uh, Atlanta. I believe that your peers may have felt more insecure than my peers. No, they did not. You my peers did not feel insecure at all. I didn't live back then, but what I was heard that, you know, you may have to keep your head down. You might have to walk on the opposite side of the street. You might have to use a different type bathroom. I'm not sure what took well, place. Well, you definitely had different bathrooms, but we didn't walk on the opposite side of the streets or any of that kind of thing. And I grew up on a plantation in Alabama. My mom's from Alabama. She told me about the, uh, the separate bathrooms and things like right, that. Right, it was separate bathrooms. And she actually regretted moving up north. Yeah. yeah. Because up north, black people were complaining and, mm, they're different. And, and had all this hatred, but they didn't have it down south. Why is that? Maybe the people up north ran. and the, I don't know. Maybe they're stronger if you can. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe they could endure more abuse. There was no abuse happening. There is abuse. What, what, what do you, okay, abuse, uh, mistreatment? Is that, that a better word? That wasn't happening. There, there was no mistreatment no. going on? I'm sure you've met some bad people, black people treated white people bad, but that wasn't happening down there. There weren't KKK and cross burnings a and few, hangings? A few, but never to us, though. I thought it was a part of the culture, American culture. No. It wasn't? No. So that, then that was bringing up my point about the media. So I'm only, I wasn't living back then, so yeah. I don't know, but How I've seen you? a lot of pictures. Uh, 40, I, close to 40 years. So don't believe what the people are telling you. What about the pictures? The pictures are fake. The pictures are fake? <laughs> they find one or two and then they pretend like it's the massive of people. To listen to your point, I have seen the same picture repeatedly yeah. on different things. Yeah. I have seen that, but I'm not going to totally agree with you because I don't know. But I have seen the same picture. Mm -hmm.
What is it that ha Hakeem thought? Hashim. Uh, Hashim thought that you would say when he said, "Be careful what you say." I don't think that he had a fear of what I might say, but he was really explaining to me, Jesse, honestly about you know, and I shouldn't really. Basically, he was telling me how to protect myself, maybe even from my own people. How do you say you should protect yourself? How? I would probably keep my mouth shut like he does. He, he explained to me how he has uh, avoided interviews. Just like with the Kaepernick situation, right? Right. He bring up a big situation. You got other people that play for other teams. You enforce them to say, are you with black people or not, right? And right. you may be with black people, but you don't want nobody else to know. Or, or you just don't want to discuss it at work. Right? So you get other people kneeling, then when you have an opportunity to speak to the president, you don't even do it. But you right. show up for a Nike commercial. That's right. Very good point. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's a thug anyway. I don't know about that. Yeah. But I think he, he oh, needs some more uh, balls. Kaepernick. I'm glad yeah. he got fired. Um, Hashim, what did he think that you would say? I don't know. Haven't you gone through uh, things based on what you feel? Haven't you received negative treatment from your own people based on what you think? Yeah, they called me Uncle Tom and Coon. And he was warning me of that. And house He was trying to protect me of that. Because even when he I mentioned... He didn't want you to be name called? Uh, no, he didn't want no. me to be name called. Even when you mentioned what? Uh, like Donald Trump or anything. Like the I'll, Great White Hope. The Great Red, White, and Blue Hope. <laughs> You voted for him? I've never voted in my life. Oh. But I will vote for him if he goes again. You would? Yeah, you vote for the Great White Hope? And, and the reason I like Donald Trump is because in my life, that was like one of the few people I've actually seen and knew when I was a child. Yeah. I never seen Barack. I didn't know who he was. Me I never either. seen Bush. I never seen these people. Right. But I knew I knew uh, Donald. Well, I'm glad you would vote for him, man. You something, Are you sure you're a Black Panther Party? Yeah, that's why I have to be careful what I say. How did you be... <laughs> <laughs> How did you become a black, new Black Panther member? At a certain time in my life, I was like, you know, I wanted to help black people and I wanted to do it not in a, a passive way, right? And that was mo probably the most alpha male group that the black people have besides, you know, NAACP or... But they're so radical. I tried to explain to Hashim sometimes and he, listened, he never really disagreed with me. That's why I'm able to, you know, at least come here, but... Uh, I try to explain to him, from my perspective, that the fight is over with. Yep. I flew here, right? Right. And I drove down here, got a hotel. Yeah. No one was chasing me, <laughs> you know? That's right. Will you let him know that, Hashim? He understands that? exactly what I'm saying. He does? Yeah. Well, why does he change the way, the order of the new Black Panther Party? Fine. Will you convince him, let him know that it's over? That's why I'm still in the party, yeah. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, he has to be late. I mean, you probably know this more information better than I do, actually. About but, him? Yeah. I'm not sure who he is unless you use his slave name. And so what made you work closely with him? Well, how did you get closer? I mean, he's the head of this group, right? Mm -hmm. What made you get closer to him? He accepted me. And did you live in Georgia? Yeah. That's how you met him? Well, I was actually in another city called Rome under like a small faction of the group. Uh -huh. And uh, we had to go do security for him at a, um, at a convention. Right. And I talked to him. But Black Panthers are not Christian. Why would you say that? Are they Christians? Yeah, they're, they're all, they accept any religion you want to be. Oh yeah, and do, do they love white people? Do they love white people? Do they love white people? I can't speak for them on that. On my opinion, I'll say not all, not all, but most. <laughs> You've been watching them. Yeah. Do you love white people? Do I love not all, not all, but most? You love most white people, not all? Not all. And is it possible to love some, but not all? Oh, definitely. But when you don't love all people, you hate all. You can't love one and hate the other. No, we've been taught in our life that moderation is good and balance is a key in the cycle. And, you know, things have to replenish themselves and there's a season for everything. There's a time to kill, time to heal, you know, time to love, time to hate. I know, so, but you have to have love for all in order to balance that out. If you have love for most, you're doing good. No. If you don't love one person, you love nobody. You think God loves everybody? Yeah. You think he loves everybody? He loves everyone. Not as in a fallen state, but he loves everybody, but he doesn't love you the way you are. That's why we must be born again. This says come as you are, though, right? Come and be born again. And mostly all the prophets were like drunks or murderers or something, right? They were all, something was uh, Where you get wrong. that from? Uh, the Bible. Uh, I think Noah was a drunk, right? He, he, he was naked, intoxicated, and his children walked in. But it didn't say he was a drunk. Well, you had to be doing something. If you're naked in front of your kids, you, you like to drink. So are you a Christian? Yes, sir. Do your parents know you belong to the Black Panther Party? Yes, sir. How do you feel about that? 
uh, they feel they respect it. And are you close to both parents? Yes. Well, well, actually, no, not to my father as much. Why not? My father was uh, a World War II and Korea veteran, right? He went into the military at like 15, lied about his age, and he fought for like 13 years. Right. I think it messed him up. So he has a, he's been married 11 times. He has problems with connecting things. Like He's been married 11 times? Yeah. How many children? Four. Oh. And do you love him? Yes, of course. Does he know that? Yeah, I, I think he does, yeah. You didn't tell him? No. Nah. Uh, why not? The men in my family, we don't really talk like that to each other. Oh. Uh, but you prefer, you're close to your father? Yes. You are? Yeah. Do you love your mother? Yes. Do you, does she know that? Yes. Have you told her that? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. And w how does it feel to be close to your mother? Natural. It feels natural? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not something, it's not a feeling that comes upon me. It's something that is just natural. Do you correct her when she's wrong? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So you can speak up for yourself? Oh, yes. She okay. taught me to do that, yeah. Are you married? Yes. Are you married? Yeah. To a black woman? Yes. Is she a part of the Panther? No. Oh. You have children? Yes. Really? Yes. How many? Two. That's amazing. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think that about you. But it said the scripture that said every man should cling to a woman, right? To, to the best of another woman. If they want a family, yeah. According to Breitbart News, uh, last November, a group of a uh, new Black Panther Party in Atlanta were photographed holding guns uh, along with signs supporting Stacey Abram. And at that time, she was running for Georgia governor. Are you aware of that? Yes, I was aware of that. What do you think about that? Do I think about her running for governor? About them and carrying the guns? guns that supported her, the new Black Panther. I don't know what the reason for was carried the guns for. I think, wasn't there. I, I what do you know. think about the fact that they were doing that? I think, um, ooh, Jesse. Okay, listen, I think that, uh, I think it's emotional. They were emotional? Mm -hmm. Meaning what? Probably not in the right state. Of what state were they in? Emotional. Meaning they were angry? Angry, probably. At what? Or determined, whatever word. About, what were they That's angry my about? Opinion. What were they angry about? Uh, in my opinion, probably uh, they don't like the other representative. And, and they wanted to make sure Stacy went? And make sure that the votes weren't infringed. And Stacy is a uh, socialist for leftists. She's not really a good example for black people or for America. Why would they want her? Okay, I can't tell you, like, okay, I know that pretty much, I'm not gonna say that they want her. It's not really like that. Why right? were they supporting her then? Maybe she asked. She asked them to? Maybe oh. she asked. And so they, why didn't they want her? Why didn't they want her? You said maybe they did not really want her, but they still support her. Why would oh, they not want her? Oh, maybe they didn't want to get involved. Or maybe they did. That's my opinion. I don't know. Oh, amazing. Um, was it okay for them to support Stacey Abram? Of course it is. If uh, KKK members had put on a white suit thing and they rallied around the opponent of hers, would that have been fine? Yeah. You've been okay with yeah. that? I'm not insecure about that, Jesse. That uh, doesn't scare me or would make the party me feel anything. Uh, would the Black Panther Party have been okay with that? No, but things, in my opinion, some members may have been uh, triggered. And that's what I think all this is, is, triggering. I don't understand why you're a member of a party that's so radical when you say you need help. more logical. They need help. What kind of help? They need to be able to understand that you can deal with racist white people and still get the job done because this is our country. Our people die here, you know? This is our country. I'm an American, you're an American, whatever. Right. And we got to figure this out. We got to confront this shit, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, the reason I like Trump, because it's crazy right now, but we're confronting, we're talking, you know what I'm That's saying? Right. We're talking. That's what you got. And as a man, you know that you That's eventually right. got to talk. You yeah. can't just keep, it's not going to work. You're absolutely right. Your PR representative sent me some, uh, sent my producer copies of the Black Panther Party. Oh, okay. Um, ten point program. Right. Are you aware of that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so I want to go through those points with you. Is that okay, all right? Okay, that's fine. Uh, one of the points says that black people won't be free until you're able to determine your own destiny. Is that right? Definitely. Uh, what does it mean? to determine your own destiny. 
uh, to break it down into smaller points is like, uh, in order to determine where you're going, you have to have some type of intelligence, right? And then you have to understand the, your environment, right? So if you determine to go somewhere, that means you have intelligence of your surroundings and how you fit into that. So that when that's not uh, encumbered, right, you're able to be free, just like I was able to fly here and come onto the show because I was determined to. So yeah. I'm free, right? And what is the uh, destiny of black people? What is their destiny? I probably shouldn't even say. Why not? No, tell me. You can tell me. That's why you're here. <laughs> the destiny of black people uh -huh. is to create the new Jerusalem for the world to follow. That's the reason God has made us the influencers of the world. So that way, like you said, I don't believe we're in a fallen state. I believe that we're in a rising state. I believe that the, the, the stuff that you see is a cleansing process. Oh, yeah. and so there, the black people destiny is to create a new Jerusalem, or whatever it's called, the Zion, or or whatever it's called, the new the new heaven on earth. And is there an old heaven on earth from black people? I'm not sure. But how are they going to create a new one if they've never been part of an old one? Once they're able to basically forgive white people and help them fix this country, then I believe that God will take care of the rest from there. What have white people done to them? What have white people done to black people? Yeah. That they They've need mistreated to, them, Jesse. In what way? Uh, they beat them. They beat them? Yeah, they beat them. You told Harpo to beat me. Yeah, shit like that. All my life, I've been beat by men. You don't think that would, you don't think that would mess with you? You don't think kids that are abused, that don't bother them? You don't think that that doesn't travel to their children? No. And then their children after that? Yeah, just, just think, a simple butt whooping. I think what's driving to the black children is the destruction of the black mother. Black mother beat their children, mm. control the men, and they, they cause the kids to become angry at them. And as you know, you become like what you hate, mm. or whomever you're angry at. Mm. And if you see, if you know that black men act like black women, they get angry, they're insecure, they look to the woman. I don't, white people are not doing that. It's coming from their home. It's the black mother who is setting their kids up to fail. Yeah, I agree with that. I believe that black women kind of sold us out for the, for the feminist liberation to link up with white women and not wash dishes for us at the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. And even if uh, the feminists had not come about, black women would still be mean and nasty. No, Black mothers would still not be mean and kid. There's no, there's the only no... reason that they wouldn't be doing it if men had stayed in the home and been men. And they did that back then. Yeah. Right, but they had men and women there, so the black woman... So why did the man leave, Jesse? Uh, for the government programs. Yeah. The government told the black people, we'll give you some free stuff, but you need to get your man out of the way. Does it, does it hurt your feelings when people call you a coon or so? No. Do you know. know what a coon is? Yeah, I have a train. A coon I, I, train. I've seen a coon train, but do you know what that is? Like, if not, not, not just jokingly, like really, do you? Because I, I was trying to figure out what it was and I couldn't think of it. No, I don't know what it is either. All I know is I heard the name right. and I seen the train. <laughs> so you put two and two together and say, okay. Uh, it must not be good. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, isn't that funny? Yeah, it is. The Black Panther believe that the federal government is responsible and obligated to give every man employment or guaranteed income. Is that true? Now that's a now I think that that's a old one from Huey P. Newton actually that that they sent him, but uh, they might. F I disagree with that. Me too. Yeah, totally. I don't want a job. Keep your jobs. You get your own job. Yeah, you, get your own, you make your own thing. You're in the wrong party. You need no, to I'm not in the wrong. I got to help my people. You need to I become, can't, but I you'll think, help them by becoming a real Christian. I don't think that you that you wanted to help help the people. I think that you that you got to a certain point of intellect and you said, "I'm gonna free myself." 
I've always been free. I've never been enslaved. Me either. But you gotta, you still gotta help the people, man. Like, but I'm helping them. What if Harriet Tubman didn't do that? Like, some people, like my, like my last name, like my people ran from the South. Who is Harriet Tubman? Uh, is that what her name is? Yeah, the, the Underground Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Harriet now? Uh, she's gone, but she. I rest my case. So, so what is that? What are you saying? <laughs> she's dead, right? Right. I rest my case. Okay. What? I don't know your point, but all right. Oh, the point is, good people don't die. Oh, you cut me off. I was saying that she's still here through the people she saved, you know? Like but you, but you interrupted her. Like Obama and all them, right? Nah. I don't she, like Obama, man. You know, you know what I realized with Trump? Is that how much power Barack had at his hands, man, at, his, at the helm, yo. And it's like he didn't do nothing yeah, with that. that's right. He's a beta male. And look who he's married to. What do you think about Big Mama Michelle? I think she's cool. I think I know I seen her on a workout program and she was lifting the weights better. And those are the same weights <laughs> I work out with. And I was like, she's got good form. Uh, you say that again. Yeah. So you don't believe that the government is obligated to give black people jobs and No, I don't even really believe in reparation, man. I believe that right uh, on. I, I want I want the bigger prize. I believe I believe that there's a bigger thing in store. You can keep your forty acres and a dog. I'm good. They want forty acres and two mules. Oh, I'm good. According to this plan they have. No, you can damn near buy that yourself. And so you're in the Black Panther Party in order to get them to wake up? Yeah. Oh, not wake up, but just uh, adopt a different type of mindset. I think that we have to come off. I think that the ideas that they have are antiquated with the democratic system and everything. I never voted because I knew someone wasn't right. Right. I didn't know what it was, but I knew, the, I knew it wasn't right. The it, government never cared about anybody but no, themselves. Exactly. The Republicans and the Democrats. But I think Until now President we're at the Trump point. Came along. Right. Now it's at yeah. a point where the Republicans are like, okay, all the men that want to take care of your families, let's get together. That's right. Right. It's not about do that. Do you call him the Great White Hope, as I do? Not at all. But you see him as the Great White Hope, right? Red, white, and blue hope, yeah. What's the red, white, and blue? American? American, yeah. He, yeah, he is. He, a, it, he's the epitome of the American dream. That's man. right. For real. Like, uh, I really, that's what I said, man. I want to get into politics. If, if, you see what I'm saying? It, yeah. it wasn't Barack that did it. Right. No. It's like Barack to me was like the the black cop that you get in on the force now. It's not like they're gonna change things. It might be worse. Yeah. He made it worse. Yeah. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsor. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. The second point says that if white American businessmen will not give full employment, then the means of production should be taken from them. What are the means of the white man productions? That should be taken away but from But you them. understand what you're hearing right there. You're hearing an alpha male that is has no power and wants, he's like, I can't live unless a I beta do male. something. No, it's not a beta. They're a beta betas. male wouldn't want to take They're white man betas. power away from him. No. And so they want to take the means of their production, meaning that they, the blacks want to stop white people from producing, being able to produce if they don't give them something? They wanted war at that time. The black people did? Yeah, at that time, I believe, in my oh. opinion. They wanted, they were willing to die. So they were like, I'll, I'll, I'll do that mission in order to make sure I don't live uh, subjected. So you don't think they should take the productions, uh, production away from white people, right? I think that's a losing battle. Yeah. Um, Bad decision. So do they want to take the white man's money away from him? No, uh, the New Black Panther Party has always been about being self-sufficient. Now, now, like I said, those are Huey P. Newton's uh, first points, but uh, th I think that they were more uh, aggressive back then because there was more uh, mistreatment going on. 
amazing. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't though. It was. It was just made up by those people in Chicago, the Black Panther Party at that time. I remember when I would go up to Indiana from Alabama, mm -hmm. and my parents would not allow me to go over to Chicago because I was a teenager, but the Black Panther Party were, were radical and mean and fighting the cops and everybody and lying to the blacks. And most black people were afraid of them. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't even go over to Chicago to visit. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, actually. It's well, amazing. <laughs> That's right. So the third point, uh, they said they believe that racist government has robbed us, and now we are determined to overcome d the debt of 40 acres and two mules. And first they only wanted one mule. Right. Now they want two. What do you think about that? I believe that if we don't focus on that, we could probably do better. All uh, right. And the fourth point said that, that you think that the white landlord should give housing to the black community. Do you think that white people should give housing? Are you reading that correctly? Because I believe that says something about habitable housing that is conditioned for human beings fourth, to live in. The fourth point says that you think the white, meaning the Black Panther, that the white landlord should give housing to the black oh, community. Oh, that's definitely been reworded. Yeah, the original... Uh, but your communication person said this. Tell them what it says. Right. So basically it was saying that they should, black people should have habitable housing for a human, you know, to, for a human being to live in. And how should they get it, those houses? Unifying. Unifying? Mm -hmm. With whom? Their own people. And I, I think, you know, you gotta understand, you know that Jesse though, that, that there's different intelligence levels, you know? And some of those people need to unify with just blacks, and then some of us blacks have to unify with the whites, because not everybody's gonna be able to talk to them. And that's just what it is. So like, it depends, if, you, if, you're, if you're in a situation where you don't have the intelligence to get, live in a, in a habitable house, then you probably need to unify with your own people. So are you saying some or most black people are retarded? No, Re retarded means what? They're, they don't have a stable mind. No, I don't agree with that. Well, you said some of them uneducated. are intelligent, some I think are not. I would say uneducated is a better word. Oh, Yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, I want to go through these points really fast okay. here. The sixth point says you want all black men to be exempt from military service. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Uh, yeah, that's what they wrote. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, I, would, I wouldn't want to fight somebody that didn't do nothing to me for somebody that doesn't give me anything. Well, this is your country. Definitely. Like, my dad fought. Fight for your my, country? my dad fought. Yeah. He, and, I, and I paid for that, too, based on what, you know, the years that he gave, because he was like a hero, you know? He still lives. He's like 90-some years old. Would yeah. you want to fight for your country? If it, it became better, yeah. White people have not done anything to black people. The ones that are living today have not done anything to keep black people down. Most black people are suffering due to the lack of moral character and uh, the destruction of their homes. And it has nothing to do with white people at all. Why are the blacks still blaming white people? To honestly say it, maybe, maybe. Uh, they've been in a, a, a parent role for so long that if you don't have food in the house and you're a child, you're gonna say mommy and daddy didn't what are they doing? They're bullshitting, right? Well, why would they blame the whites for that, though? Because they've been in a position of power over them for so long, and if things don't work right, well, it's got to be they're not in a position fault. of power over black people. The you Democrats know, control them, I know that. Yeah, I know. And and the I, and Democrats I, are made up of whites and blacks. Mm -hmm. But other than that, nobody's in control of their lives. Right, and you know, I've gone into a pet store with my sons, right? And I've gone to, like, they have an open cage with these parrots and stuff, right? And the parrots won't move, and I asked them, did they have their flight wings clipped? He said, no, they were just born in captivity and they don't even know they can fly, right? So it's like sometimes it's not even, it's just your conditioning. And you know, that's, that's a known thing Meaning in psychology. What? Who conditioned them to think and be that way? A system, that's why it's called a system, a government system, a legal system, there's a systematic But well, why didn't their things. parents teach them better? Because they were we were not conditioned in that way at all. When I was growing up, blacks had land, they got married, they didn't have their children out of wet law for the most part and abortion was not heard of. Why, were not, why wasn't black people conditioned that way then as opposed to now? You already know the answer. What's the answer? The, you know, the real answer is that people started realizing that Jesus wasn't white. 
And then what it did was it took our... But Jesus is white. He's not white, Jesse. You know that. So you think the people in Africa name was Peter and, and Paul and Tom and Simon? You think that's what their names were? If black men and women had continued to get married and men led the women and children in the right way to go, would black people be in the condition that they are now? No. And so why not go back to that rather than blaming someone else for it? Because the black people gave up their lives by giving it to the Democrats mm -hmm. when it, under Lyndon B. Johnson when they said, we'll take care of you, but you got to, you know, you got to not have a man. You have government programs. And then uh, and why would they suggest that? to leave. They suggested that for a reason, right? right? Because they probably seen in the future that it would probably be a fucked up situation if they created that, right? No, it became an effed up situation because they gave into it. Well, you know, you remember. Uh, and it was encouraged you know, by Jacob. Jacob. Jacob gave his birthright to his brother for a bowl of beans, a pot of beans. Jacob? Yeah, Jacob and or Esau. Yeah, Esau. Where's Jacob now? It doesn't matter. Is where Jacob now? Where? Yeah. He's, he's in us. Where's Jacob? I rest my case. Where's Jacob? He should be in the ground. No, he's in us. It's DNA. But listen, would black people be in that condition had not they given up the men for the government? No, they wouldn't, Jesse. They would not. So why not fix that situation rather than blaming white people? The only way you're going to fix that, Jesse, is with a new religion. No. Yes. The only way you're going to fix that is by black men returning to God and, and then getting married and having children and being in control of their family. As a Christian? Huh? As a Christian? As a man, period. No, as a Christian, I'm asking. It will help to be a Christian, yeah. It will help? Yeah. So as a Christian, yes? Because Christianity is the best religion on this side of heaven. And Christianity is based upon Christ, right? Right. Right. And if, and if you're worshiping a white Christ and you know subconsciously he's not a white Christ, you're going to have conflicting views later, too. But you're not going to be solid. That's why you need a new religion, because this isn't going to work. We're well, at the well, day and age, the everybody religion? knows he wasn't white. Even the white people know it. What religion Jesse? should he be? You, you think the KKK would operate the same way if they knew, if they accepted that Jesus was black? What's a new religion? A black Jesus? Truth. How has it helped black people to believe that Jesus was black? The new religion, Jesse, is man, woman, child. That's always been around. No, it's well, different. I mean, it's until man, the, man, until it's woman, it's all people. type of stuff, yeah. yeah. But what's the, would it help black people to believe that Jesus is black? It'll make it, yeah. But I, they have been believing that for a long time, and they only got worse. White people of have to say it. White people have to come out and say, you know what? This was just because, because every time I see, like, even the people you've interviewed, it's like, you see people, and they say, well, it doesn't really matter. He's a spirit. But if I say, you want to get paid, right? You say, you need $1,000 for your payment. I say, well, let me give you $1,000 in pink $100 bills. You're going to say, this ain't the right color, because color represents something. And, and if that bill doesn't show up the same color as you expect it to be, you're not going to have the same amount of trust, even though you may trust me. What I'm saying that is real money is just pink, but at the same time, you're going to feel better if it's blue. That's amazing. Yeah. So you think the color of Jesus the truth. will impact black yeah, people? Yeah, the truth. So if they found out that Jesus was black. No, if white people came out and said, look, he was black. We had to do it like this. Then black people would get better? Yeah, and white people. But then black people would stop hating whites. They would get married, have their baby. if white people said that. It all starts with religion, Jesse. So can y'all start saying that? Okay, they'll start saying Jesus was black. We All see right. how it works. That's a start. Yeah. <laughs> we got Travis there. Uh, the seven point says you want an immediate, immediate end to police brutality and murder of black people. Do you believe in police brutality? Yes and no. Oh, give me one answer or not. From experience, I've both sides. I've had the police brutality where I didn't do nothing, and then I also had the situation where I was talking too much. So yes all no. the police beat you or just one? Uh, it was a couple. You know, I'm from Detroit, so, you know, I've had encounters with situations. Police, they might run up on you and just start beating the hell out of you. You're a child, you're, you know, you're 16, 17 out in the street. They might just do that. For, yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Were been you involved. doing something bad when they ran No, away? just hanging out. Probably just shouldn't have been hanging out. out. Yeah, probably oh, shouldn't have been hanging out. In a place out. you shouldn't have been? Yeah, probably seven, eight people with you, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get, they call so it gang do you squad. believe in police brutality? Do I believe it exists? Yeah, it exists, yeah. I believe that there's uh, insecure white people that want to go home to their families. How about police And we call that police brutality. brutality. And we call that police brutality. Do you believe police brutality is this? If it's under what I said, yeah. If it's, if it, yeah, yeah, definitely, yes. Do you believe that black on black brutality is this? Most definitely. 
Like if you have a, if you put any type of uh, living thing in a small area with limited amount of resources, they're gonna, they're gonna be some conflict. Amazing. It's just, yeah, it's just what it is. If you have limited amount of resources, limited amount of area, it's gonna be, you put mice, anything, it's gonna fight each other. So blacks are killing each other because they have limited amounts. The resources, of resources, yeah. And you're containing Meaning a little that they area. have more money and food and all that? Uh, if my personal opinion, which I probably shouldn't say, but I feel like personally, one thing I would like to do, I would like to get the Arabs and the Indians out of the black neighborhoods, you know, like period. Every, it doesn't make sense. I'm from Detroit. I've been in the, the ghettos of, or not the ghettos, but the hoods of uh, Decatur or whatever. And it's the same thing no matter where you go. Indiana, they're all like, hey, brother, you know, all this stuff. And they're taking your money. How do, I ask them, how do you know we like Colt 45? <laughs> how do you know we like pigskins? And well, who's telling you this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But the Arabs don't like the blacks. And probably don't. No, they don't like them. That's but why I mean, but, every, but everybody's obsessed with black people for some reason. They can't stop talking about us. Oh, and we have no power. We have nothing and no money, nothing. And everybody talks about I us and hates why. us for some reason. I know why. Why? Why is that? Because blacks are the most influential group of people on this side of heaven. Because the blacks are so angry and mean and nasty and afraid and begging and whining and complaining that most people don't like them anymore. That's true. They're sick of them. That's true. Me too. You're sick of them too? Yeah. You're sick but of I love black them. people? Yeah, but I love them. And why do you love them? Because that's my, that's my duty. That's why my are you sick of them? For what you just said, because of the complaining. Like, even like in the sense of like, if I say, okay, I understand what Trump is saying, you know? Yeah. It's like, people automatically just turn negative to you. It's like, so if I say I like Hillary or if I like anything that you say, I'm good. And it's like, that's kind of weird. Yeah, it is. That's why I asked you, what is a coon? It's like, I started thinking about it. I was like, because I watch you, Jesse. You're a very intelligent. You know how to listen, right? And I notice when people ask you a question, how you skip past their questions, but you don't like them doing to you. But you do it. They don't, they're, they're not as determined as you are, right? So like, like with Tyreek, when he asked you about the Jews being stupid because of the, them being put into the Holocaust. And you just changed the subject. The Jews being stupid? Yeah, because you had brought up a point of, uh, he kept saying white supremacy. You said, well... The black man, well, he must be stupider than the white man if the white man is able to do all this stuff, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. You have to be stupid to give up your rights to bear arms to anyone. Yeah, Stacey Abrams the, is uh, talking the about The government. That. Yeah, yeah, Stacey Abrams, yeah. same thing. That's crazy. Yeah. So isn't that stupid? Definitely. Yeah. So I was right there. No, I was saying that you averted his question. No, you, you were right about this, uh, the supremacy thing, but he brought up the Jew and you didn't answer it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm just saying remember. that those people that you catch up, they don't do you like that. They, they don't see it. Do you have questions for me? Uh, Before we run out of time? Yeah. Are you a man? Yes. How about why, you? Why, yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. why, why haven't you chosen to, to have uh, a woman to be a head over your woman? Or why well, wasn't that? I chosen to? No, why haven't you chosen to do that? Uh, it wasn't in, in uh, God's plan for me yet. doesn't mean it would never happen. But uh, I literally thought that I would grow up and have 10 kids. That was my plan. I wanted to get married, have 10 kids. Unfortunately, I had one out of wedlock. Uh, and I didn't want to do that again because my son ended up suffering, not having me there. And so I didn't want to, if I couldn't do it right, I'm not going to do it. Is it wrong to have children out of wedlock? Hell no. Who says it's wedlock? Huh? Who says it's wedlock? What do you mean? Who says it? Who's saying this? Who's Is saying it wrong who to have children without being married? What is marriage? A man and a woman get married. You mean having a ceremony? Uh-huh. So is it okay under for- Under God. Is that wrong? Do you get divorced under God or the devil? Do divorce you get divorced is that of Satan, that's for sure. Yeah. But let me ask, is it wrong for men and women to get married and have children? No, not at all. Oh, but what do you mean then, what, what is marriage? Because like, uh, I don't know if you've seen the other thing that I sent in, but like basically I believe that anytime a man and a woman have sex, you have a child, you guys are married. I don't know like, that's my person. Oh, that's wrong, though. How, how do you figure? Because you can have sex with sluts, and you can be a slut maker. But if you have a child with her, then you, that's, that's your wife. That's a bastard child. A bastard child. Yeah. These well, are just we, terms you're just saying. No, when you're married, you're doing it under the umbrella of God. When you're not married, you're doing it under the umbrella of Satan, so you don't have a chance. But in that case, Jesse, there would be no divorce. You can't, God, it, whatever God is putting together, no man can put asunder. But most marriages are not put together by God. But you said they were if you get married. No, a lot of people get married, but not by God. They're brought together by Satan and their lust. Do That's you, why do they don't work. You feel alone? I feel alone? Do you feel alone with black people? Do you feel connected with black people? Oh, that's a good question. I don't feel connected to any people. Me either. 
I'm connected to God, and there are people who believe in God and children of God that are my brothers and sisters. Yeah. But I'm not, I don't feel connected, I don't feel disconnected. Do you feel that black people will do well in the future? Or do you think that? Uh, that's a good question. I don't think they're gonna do well until they become individuals until they start thinking for themselves, until they know themselves, until they drop the anger. Do you really feel that the wall should be put up? 100%. Around the borders? The big, beautiful wall around the borders? The only issue I have about that is that what if I do something I want to get out this country? Then you fly out. We just won't let you in illegal, but you can, you can leave it anytime you want. I definitely, I'm Are you the for wall. the wall? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. You know, people are always talking about, do you put them in the kids in the cave? But if I go rob a bank, to pay my rent, they're gonna take my kids, You're going man. to, that's right. <laughs> and I'm never gonna, probably, I'm not gonna know where they're at. That's right. Yeah. And then especially if you come in legally, you should expect those things to happen, you can get caught. Right, and I grew up in a poor neighborhood. We couldn't go to the rich neighborhood and just go in their house and say, we want better housing. You're in the wrong party, man. I'm in the right party, man. No, I'm helping you my do people, not man. Not in the black party. We're gonna get you there's out. No, there's, there's nowhere to go, uh, you know, we got. You can help us. Because you got the right idea, but the wrong party. I don't think I'm the wrong party. You need to get out of the Black, Path Black Panther Party because they're never going to agree with you. He's never disagreed with me. What's his name, Hashim? Mm -hmm. He's never going to agree with you. He's never disagreed with me. But he hasn't agreed either. He's playing you. Do he's playing me? Yeah, because you, your ideas are not his ideas. The physician is for the sick, Jesse, not for the well. Get out of there. They're not going to listen to you. Probably, probably right. You're in the wrong part, I'm telling you, because you're sounding nothing like the Black Panther. Do you want reparations for blacks? I want God to give us reparations. I don't want See white there? men to give us You're anything. in the wrong part. Did I, you know I don't want reparations. I just don't want to give and it. You're in the wrong part. <laughs> I just don't want to give yeah. it to my no white man writing me a check. No, I'm, well, I don't want that black reparation. Black people want, white people don't want to write you no check, believe me. They want you to take care of yourself. Right. They're like, please stop begging. Right. I mean, you know, they, the, the, like you said, the, the slave master's children, right? They, they, and they uh, took on a burden, you know. But that never happened, though. It, 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 I mean, they lately they've been taking care of the blacks because they're afraid to be called racist, but and the people whites who are doing it are not guilty of black people being in, in hell the way they are. Yes, yeah, true. Right. Yeah. So, see, you're in the wrong party. If it's true, I'm gonna agree. That's I'm right. Not gonna, so, but the Black Panther Party is not going to listen to you. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you smoke pot? Uh, occasionally. You I'm going to find some when I'm down here, definitely. If you know anywhere, let me know because I'm going there. There's some store right down the street. Bet. You going to buy some pot? Yes, sir. Why? When you're in Rome, do as the Romans do. I'm in L.A., man. Really? Yeah, I'm going to go and smoke. So are you going to smoke some today? Uh, yes, sir. Well, have you had some today already? No, I haven't. You haven't smoked any yet? In a few days. I didn't want to come here. I wanted to see you sober. Oh, so you didn't smoke it? No. Because you want to be sober? Thank oh, you for that. I wanted to appreciate your presence. Oh, that's nice, man. What's your impression of me? I already told you. You're a very intelligent person knows how to listen. Why do you smoke pot? I like it. Why? It keeps me from getting angry. You have anger? Yeah. What caused you to become angry? How did you I become? think God made me with a lot of energy, and I don't know how to deal with it. And it come from anger? No. Want me to tell you how to overcome it? It's not anger. May I tell you how to overcome it real fast? It's not, it, it's not anger, though, but go ahead. Oh, okay. You don't have anger? No. Nah. Oh, okay. You just have a lot of energy? Yeah. And then the pot helps you to calm down? Right, because I might think too fast for somebody, right. and I might be like, look, I just told you this. Right. Right. And then it's like, I need, I need to slow down. And that's why you put the Smoke the pot. Well, I really just need to be around higher functioning people. Then oh, I, I probably, see. Yeah, I'll be all right. Uh, your wife is a high functioning person? Yeah. Oh, I see. Your kids part. are too? Yeah. I bet the kids are. Yeah. Amazing. I got to ask you this. Did you have fun? Hell yeah, bro. You did? That is an honor, Jesse. All right. Well, I really appreciate <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. For sure. Bro. I appreciate it. And thank you all for tuning in. I absolutely appreciate it. Don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and check out the merch that we have on the fallestate.tv, all right? And let me hear from you about this show and all of the shows. Next time on The Fallen State.
looking at all three of you guys. Instagram, amazing. What is it like to just take it all off? Refreshing. Yeah. I'm very comfortable. Guys be texting me their numbers and saying, hit me up if you're horny. And I'm like, first things first, do I look like I need to like find a random guy on the <laughs> internet? Some old person died. <laughs> Is it hard to find a man to control you? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're they're are, weak nowadays. Yeah, they are. They're, they're little like, bitches nowadays. Like, oh my God, <laughs> no, for real. Bitches? I don't know what happened. I want to be able to boss you around a little bit to where it's fun. But if you let me boss you around too much, then it's a turn off. Amazing. Hey, John, AKA Bright Lights. Thank you so much for the new opening that you gave us and also for all the music that you're giving us. John, you are something else. Amazing. Come out, come out. Very hiding out. I got something to say to you that I don't know about. Come out, come out. Very hiding out. I got something to say to you, but I don't know how. Thanks for watching The Fallen State. We need your continued support. Donate to my nonprofit here. Subscribe and like the videos here. And tell everybody and their mama about the show.